Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Suck on that, Captain. Elite Dangerous. Look at me now. I don't know how to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Probably a good idea. Ooh, a sandwich. Sandwich. Did you pick? I don't know what that is. Impact driver? I don't... I don't think I need those things right now. Cereal. Choco bites. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we can go back outside. You know, okay. Now that I'm, like, more interior focused, I need to... Yeah, I want to pull down... Sensitivity of my mouse just a hair. And I've also realized I didn't mess with the FOV. But I actually don't even. I don't even see FOV on here unless I'm just blind. So I mean, it's not bothering me, whatever it's set up. Okay, so we've got crew quarters, bed. I can sleep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Tape. Oh, they, they, they just give me all sorts of... Oh, Barrett Personal Slate. Okay. Old Earth Baseball. <laughs> That's a great nod to Captain Cisco right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Wonderful DS9 reference. Even if they didn't mean it to be, I'm just going to assume it is... Ooh, nightwear. I got pajamas. Broken Constellation Space Helmet. Don't use... Okay, let's carry on. But I want to look at all the things. Hydraulic clamp. Research station. Ooh! The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to progress. The materials needed can range from raw materials extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components uh, that can be made at an industrial workbench. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so I don't have the required materials, but I could, oh, I can track the project though. Okay, we can look at that later. Ooh, that's a nice animation. That was cool. Shields ready. Hold space to take off. Okay. Ooh, buddy, those sounds are good. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Okay, so I've got arrow keys to move power into different places. Now that I get we that. Are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. <laughs> I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay, hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power, or I can use the you, oh, you can skip the tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grab drive. Okay. No, I'd rather just use the arrow keys. But I guess when you're flying the ship, maybe alt and wazd is better. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Oh, okay. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling oh. during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. 
Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Okay, but I don't have... Wait. Bursts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Wait, hold left shift to boot. No, that's not what I was trying to do. I, I kind of lost what he was talking about because I didn't see where he was looking. But I don't have power. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Okay. Try but, but I get what he was saying. Oh, shields. oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage without a hull of devaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Sounds are great. Okay. Okay. Yep. No, I get I get the maneuverability. It's just like a little dangerous with that. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh jeez. No. Fleet ship bringing its weapons to But I can try. We will need to disable their shields. Oh, e to Laser press E to target the ship. Is it targeted? Oh, now it's locking. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah! Oh, that was cool. Okay. 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 On surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Okay, I dig that. How close I gotta be? really fun. <laughs> Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, oh, Captain. Yeah. I love this, oh, this aspect is so cool. Was that my shield offline or their shield offline? No, my shield's fine. Let's put more power in it though. Oh, I can't. Aren't you from that uh oh. Forest, bro? Don't they teach you to fly? They just did. Okay, got one. this way. Okay. Your ship's hull integrity is low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. Press zero to repair your ship. This consumes ship parts. Okay. Zero or O? Oh, crap. That's that's a really important distinction. O. I think. No. I'm pressing both and neither are doing it. <laughs> Maybe they did. So this is like, this is like that in space. I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. The amount of yeah. fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. 
Okay, so press tab. Hold on, let me go loot this ship real quick. Then we'll follow that. Tab to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Oh, that was fun. Star map. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled systems. Uh, plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star force first. Okay. Uh, I'm zooming out. What am I missing? Okay, it's said to keep zooming. I am keeping zooming. Oh, up here. I was assuming they meant scroll. Okay, so soul is over there. I can do V and it centers on me. That's nice. That's handy. Okay. So where are you wanting me to go? Missions. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of, op uh, of open ob objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Oh, that's handy. Travel to Crete. Set course. Yes. Ah, yes. The, the glowing blue hexagon. That's where I was headed. <laughs> okay. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our crimson fleet is on the surface. Okay, press tab to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Got it. Mm -hmm. The planetary view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon to land there. Got it. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. I can just skip. I can skip walking through the ship if I want to. Got it. Oh. Ooh. Captain, protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Hmm. Trade gear. Why is the Crimson Fleet after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, <laughs> typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death and often with an object multiple people wanted. <laughs> All right. That's pretty funny. Okay. So where am I headed? Do I have hexagon on radar? Got it. Okay. According ah. to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. So, okay. I need to look at something real quick. Do I just have one weapon slot at the moment? Sort of favorite drop. Uh, 
like if I favorite this with B. Aha, there we go. Okay, so let's let's put the rescue shank or the rescue shank, the rescue axe on one. Put the pistol on two. Maelstrom on three. And we'll switch the cutter manually if we need it. So I can just take this out and... Oh! 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 Can we do a block? This looks like something I could... Okay, now I'm realizing I do want my cutter on a number. Oh, it looks like it's on four. No. Four is something else. No. Guessing not. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Oh, jeez! Oh! Thank you. Press F to bring up the scanner. What? Oh. Oh, scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data on the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. Yes! Yes! Uh, the scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Oh! That's cool. Yep, so I can do my own road to riches. Oh, oh, how do I, how do I use the scanner E? Oh, it says scanned. Oh, okay. Have you been scanned? Yes, you have been scanned. Vasco, have you been scanned? The, the music dropped out when I zoomed out. It was kind of uncomfortable. I was worried there for a second. Oh, I bet it like, I bet I like, when I scrolled, it like took me out of the window. Okay, how did I get to that? F? F. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I found a thing. Yeah! Ammo do I have on my pistol? Not a ton. The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Okay, can I go in a different way? Just curious. Because I feel like a chump if I just go in the way that it tells me to by default. But it's not changing where I should go. It would point to like the the closest entrance. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Confirmed that zero is the healing because it also heals your character, not just your ship. Okay, so pressing F is scanner, holding F is flashlight. Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Bad people, bad jokes too. Yes, yes! Why did the chicken cross the road, huh? What's a chicken? Knock, knock, who's there? Planet, planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? Oh gosh, these are bad. Oh, oh wow, that was really bad. Uh, no, no, we're not gonna read any more of those joke was terrible. Desktop sand garden? Yes. Can I put that in my ship somewhere? Pencil case no notepad? Yes. A succulent? Yes. Emily, I can loot the succulents. <laughs> yes, I'm streaming in the dark because I want to see it in all its glory. <laughs> Jeez, ho, 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 what? What? Oh, heat leech. Ha, ah. no thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez, they lured me with the purple toxin. Ooh, his, his tissue is a nutrient. Med pack, don't mind if I do. I'm assuming that's what I absorb when I press zero. Coffee mug, yes please. Some physics going on over here. Okay, handprints. Someone's been here. Oh, another succulent. Yes. Genetic sample bottle. There's lots of loot. I am, I am. I'm keeping myself from looting everything. Unless it looks moderately usable or funny. Cred stick. Still don't know what those are, but they look interesting. Med pack, nice. That man, these bring me, these take me back to like half life. Fire exposure, nice. Oh, med pack, digit pack. Sparkling water. Why does he look like that? Oh. Okay, so lootable things have a glow to them sometimes. History of xenobiology. Nice. Portable desk fan. Yes, please. Can I sit? I can sit. <laughs> Can't get a good shot of me though. That's a shame. Oh, and I could wait if I wanted to. That's clever. Oh, duh, the digi picks are lock picks. Wow. I feel so dumb.
mode. Oh, uh, yeah, just keeping an eye on things, like you said. Grab these. Mixing bowl. Oh, look at how quickly you move out of the way. Oh, if only Skyrim and companions did the same. All right, could I shoot through the glass? I don't know. Oh, wow, he was, like, incapacitated really well. Like, the way he fell to the ground and was, like, stunned was awesome. Oh, there you are. Oh, jeez. Man, the AI is good. He, like, really relocated. Threw me off. Okay, so it looks like their weapons do indeed detach. It doesn't seem like it's Skyrim where you could just go to the body and loot their weapon. <laughs> or, you know, go to whatever remains of their body and loot everything. No, maybe not. I bet the ri I bet the rattler is a weapon. Let's see. No, no, it does. Okay. All right, so that's like a pistol. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can compare to equipped. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Higher accuracy, less rounds. Let's try it. Let's put that on one. Whoops, not one. Who am I kidding? I am not going to be doing melee. It, like, if I'm doing... Well, no, let me put it on zero. That's what I'll do. Not zero. Nine. Yeah, zero is med pack. So let's put the melee at nine. Because I'm only going to use that, like, in a sneaky situation. Restrooms. Nice. Don't know how this is going to fire when we need to, but we'll figure it out when the time comes. Actually, that makes me think of something, because middle click is set to changing perspective, which I don't... I don't, I don't, really, I don't really care for that, necessarily. I, I'd rather just scroll. But what I definitely want to do is... I would like... Okay, so melee is set to V? No, let that be mouse 4. Oh, what was throw grenade? Throw grenade is G. Alt key is V. Got it. So good that you can separate the melee and the grenade, because that was not the case in Fallout 4, I think it was? Oh, this hallway looks great. The Terramorph is loose? What? Oh, that was, the best. that was an old recording. Uh, wow, that really got me. 